The Healing Shy is trying to normalize the narrative around mental health for black men, and they are using the healing powers of yoga to do so. And joining us with more are founders, co-founders, Andrew Smith and Tristan Lewis. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming in. Good Thank morning. You. Yoga has been around for a long time, and it seems that even as long as it's been around, we find new ways to incorporate it in our lives to heal us. How did you guys arrive at using yoga? Yeah, uh, that story really started at the top of 2020. Um, with the loss of NBA legend Kobe Bryant, mm. you know, and all of us are feeling that loss and grief. And then you fast forward a few months later, we were all succumbed to the global pandemic and being mm -hmm. shut down. And then even more so, the civil unrest that was happening in our country mm. during the first six months with the loss of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd. Um, Andrew and I realized that the group of guys we were connected to were all going through this global experience together on top of a lot of trauma in our personal lives. And we just really wanted to create a way for the men in our community to come together and process some of those traumas. And we chose yoga. Okay. So is it a quiet breathing type of yoga? Are you using it also for fitness? How are you actually incorporating into your every day? Yeah, that's a great question. And since we began the practice, we have been experiencing all different types of yoga. Tristan and I have been intentional about bringing different yoga practitioners in from different backgrounds that really have been able to allow our base to just experience yoga from, you know, the fitness aspect to the mindfulness aspect. Okay, yeah, cool. All right, so you're going to walk us through some of the moves that you guys typically, yeah, like yeah. A, a routine. Is this something you do every day, every other day, a couple days a week? Yeah, so we typically meet as a community uh, once a week, mm -hmm. um, but Andrew and I were actually in a process of, of getting our teacher certification. Oh, cool. Yeah. So yeah. we practice a few times a week. So okay. Yeah, and yeah. I like that you say practice because yoga is one of those things that you are constantly improving at. 100%, 100%. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think it's, uh, it's a practice that allows you to be self-reflective and to show up your best self. And sometimes some of the poses, you may not necessarily <laughs> yeah. execute the best, but yeah. we're definitely going to show you all a, a Friday flow, something that you okay. can do at home. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so, let's right. hit it. Um, Andrews, he's going to start off in a plank position, and then we're going to go from the plank position into a downward dog. That's and then nice from the downward mm -hmm. dog, Andrews going to flow up to the top of his mat. So hop up, Andrew. Cool. And then from there, we're going to demonstrate a warrior pose. And this pose is particularly popular amongst our practice. Mm -hmm. um, it's very empowering. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, when we were getting together in the early days of yoga, of doing our yoga sessions, you know, 50 men were on the football field doing this 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 uh, position, and it was just like super impactful and powerful mm -hmm. to see. Yeah. So, yeah. You know. Yeah. You don't usually see men doing yoga. There yeah. are obviously some practitioners right, right. out there, but this is not something you typically see men doing. Why? I mean, how does it make you guys feel to do this particular practice? I mean, you could have guys could have done boxing, right. you could have done exercise, I mean, yeah. any other kind of exercise. You chose yoga. Yeah, I mean, we chose yoga, I think, as a response to everything that we were dealing with mm -hmm. from the year. Um, and when you look at the practice of yoga, it provides physical relief from trauma, but also the ability to tap in and to be self-aware and self-reflective. So that was the reason why we chose yoga. Are yeah. you guys using breathing exercises and meditation as part of the practice as well? Because I yes. know that, that a lot of mental health experts say that that is good for helping recenter. Most definitely. Yeah, so, I mean, like I said, we have some of the most incredible yoga practitioners in the city of Chicago, um, and they do a great job leading us through breath work, leading us through meditation, and giving us just those affirmations that we need to just build up our confidence uh, as we go out into this world. All right, we stopped you. We stopped you in warrior pose. I'm yeah. sorry. Yes. Can you? Cool, cool. I'll get back there. Okay, get back to the <laughs> All right, where are we going from here? Yeah, so we just really wanted to show you all three simple moves. Oh, oh okay, okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Um, I think we can we can wrap it up with the mountain pose. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And I want to know how many guys the first time they started doing this were laughing because they were falling over. It was, this is hard. It was actually hilarious, yeah. you know, and I would say that the, the first session, we invited 10 guys out, uh -huh. word of mouth spread, 20 men showed up to our first session. Oh, that's okay. cool. But the awesome thing about that was no guy could come into the space with ego okay. or like an expectation of like I'm about to crush this yeah mm -hmm. so it was very like cool to see you know other guys who look like mm -hmm. you falling over the moves and stumbling so yeah that was that was a, a really good like that entry point for a lot of us. to the whole situation 100%. too yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. all right so we're looking at some video from the football field that you were referring to so that was obviously summer maybe early fall what happened during the winter what did you guys do where did you go 
Yeah, so that was a, that's a great question. And we didn't really know what to do, mm -hmm. but we did have a couple connections in the yoga community as we began building this out. And those connections started reaching out to different yoga studios and different yoga studios around the city blessed us with the ability to practice Ooh. indoors uh, at their facilities, either at a very, very low cost or for free. That's okay. awesome, you yeah. guys. And where do you guys go from here? So our goal is to continue to expand our narrative of normalizing wellness. And we want to continue to go deep and wide in the city of Chicago. But we also realize that, you know, normalizing wellness and mental health for black men is a nationwide problem. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we want to continue to expand. We want to expand that narrative nationally. All right, well, we're going to get some information up here on the screen. Uh, Tristan and Andrew, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate yes, yes. it. The yes. Healing Shy, you see they're on Facebook and their Instagram handle. The website is the Healing Shy. Com. And we're not mispronouncing it, right? It's shy. We thought it was shy, shy but it's actually shy. shy. A yeah, playoff in Chicago, yeah. the yeah. healing shy. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you so you much. So much.